Welcome back everyone to the second part of Act 2, which is all in all the seventh part of the Roman campaign for Shield Wall. We're gonna play the Battle of Ilerda, which is going to be uh, part of the civil war between Pompey and Julius Caesar um, for the power of Rome. Our last one was the Siege of Brundisium, which almost broke me mentally and emotionally, as well as my desk physically. But hopefully this one will go a lot better. Unlike many of the other battles of the Civil War, this was more a campaign of maneuver than actual fighting. I haven't played this map yet, so this is gonna be really interesting to see if I might... Um... Okay, so this we've got reinforcements, awesome. So first of all, we need to get a load, look at what the map looks like. Okay, so they will be able to come from this side and from this side. I don't think they'll be walking over the river at any other part. So our quest will be to capture either I guess all of these or to go for this one. This is gonna be difficult. At least I will I will not want to fight a two front war. But hey, we'll, uh, we'll do our best and see what happens I guess. And I do not have enough Gold did what? Where did all my gold go? Okay, so most likely I'm gonna lose my troops. I've never started from zero before. This is a really interesting, uh, interesting experience to start from absolute zero. But he did say it did say though that it was more of a maneuver that rather than actual fighting. So maybe that's uh, a sign that I shouldn't actually be trying to fight this. But I should rather just be running around letting the reinforcements do all the battle. And then basically I should try running around and capturing, uh, and capturing bases. Doesn't feel like the right thing to do though. This is super weird. So, 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 so weird. But at least I have some defenders at my base now. And fortunately, so far I don't have a purple army up my ass. So that makes me very grateful. I have no idea if they're ever gonna attack. This is, uh, this is the exciting part. Of playing new maps you have no idea what's coming for you absolutely no idea at all it might however be just like that that uh, Pompey will work hard for uh, will work hard to um, protect the sea and not send any troops on any of the other locations because so far they haven't uh, even attacked a. I have no idea. Because any minute now, I might be attacked at A, lose that base, and then this game will be over, basically. Basically. I do have a couple of defenders. I have three defenders over at my main base, and that's good, of course. But first of all, I tried to take E. And then we're gonna recruit some more troops, and then we're gonna run for... Okay, there they come. They did not like me taking their E-base. Oh, that helmet is just like... Uh, how come he got the Maximus helmet? He got the Maximus helmet. You know from uh, you know from Gladiator, he got that helmet. That makes me so jealous. So jealous.
Oh, I died, apparently, if I ever <laughs> jumped into the water. Okay, well that's good. Then I know that no one will be able to go through the water, at least. So I have a couple of defenders. I'm gonna want one more defender there. Then I'm gonna hire some more militia. And they won't be crossing the river, right? Oh, it looks like they're just running back to A. Or they're gonna run back to capture E. Which, of course, I can't blame them for wanting to do. They have such a big army, I can't even, I can't face that army. I want reinforcements, why can't I have any reinforcements? Are they running back to their base? They seem to be running back to their base. Should I be trying to go for D, maybe? I mean, for any every second that I don't capture their bases. They are just racking up points. They already have four times my command points. But it looks like my A base so far is okay as well. But I'm really gonna need uh, a standard as soon as I possibly can. But as soon as I get this one, I'm gonna run for their next base. Now I got E, which means they're most likely gonna try to come for it. And I will run over to D, because it looks like that is place is unfortified. So if this place has a, has a gate, I would actually be able to run straight in and take, and take that uh, place from them right now. Do they have a gate? Is that a gate? It might be a gate. And now they're taking E back. Which is fine by me. I mean, all of my bases only gain me 60 in income. So far, they are not running back to uh, take this one. How much for the standard barriers? 200. I have no idea if these things even close. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so this just in, it's not a gate. <laughs> Yeah, it was not a gate. Not a gate at all. But, I mean, this goes to show that I could actually take, for example, if I bring an army, if I bring an army, well, and I capture one of their bases, they're gonna come to reclaim it, and I'm going to, and I can just sneak into their main base. This is really difficult. I mean, Pompey, if this is even at all historically accurate, Pompey had a great advantage. I want to know which ones I can... If, maybe I can claim this one without, without uh, Pompey sending reinforcements. And maybe that's the deal. Because if I keep spending all my resources and soldiers on trying to keep, capture these places on the other side of the river, then um, they will win basically. So if I try to capture this one, they might leave that one alone. At least I have a standard carrier, a standard carrier now, so that's good. But I also need to, I need to get some levels on him. So I can... Oh, they came right away. I need to get some levels on him so I can start um, getting some bonuses and some buffs.
as soon as I get my standard carrier back, I'm really glad we have 40 minutes to play this game. Because if we look at the points, I am so far behind, I can't even see the dust of Pompeii right now. And the biggest issue is that it takes so much time, it's so slow playing this map. Because you have to run for so long. Why are they going that way? Am I being attacked? No. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, so now we're going for this one. I had some reinforcements in the very beginning. They died quickly. So now I'm gonna see if I can do a better job with it, basically. And they have, oh, they're Gallic troops. They're not Roman, they're Gauls. So, I actually think I might be okay with taking this one. Might be. Or they might be running out from, uh, from that position as soon as I get, capture this. Okay, here they come. And it looks like I got him down. I did not manage to get the standard carry though. But okay, this is good. Now at least I have two places that's gonna make me money. And they just keep coming, aren't they? lot of clicking because I really need to get oh they have like legionnaires they have really good troops where did Pompey get all his money from and I have one level up this is good I want damage please guys deal some damage okay this is good this is good hire two more defenders to this base and they're just gonna keep coming. Of course they are. But my defenders are gonna bring them down a peg as well. I just want, I want to aim for their most expensive troops, like the legionnaires. And I got another level up, so now I get a full damage. That's good. But for some reason, I will never be able to build up a sufficient army to upgrade and things like that. So I'm just gonna try to... Uh... Oh! That was weird. My defender was brought down, unfortunately. But I'm just gonna hire a new one right here. But you're in the wrong side of the base, my man. I want to know if I can somehow rearrange my... If I can somehow rearrange my defenders. That's what I want to know. But I'll, I'll actually... I'll... Might... Okay, I'm gonna uh, kill some of my defenders over here. And I do that by pressing control and zero. Now I kill two of my defenders. I don't want it to be completely undefended, of course. So I'm gonna need, um, I will need that goal to recruit a bigger army.
so far it looks okay right here even more militia and I'm gonna start just pummeling them with uh, pilas as soon as I can and I will be aiming for you the standard carrier and also the general Wow my defender is really adamant to get right in there. And they are running back swiftly. That's good. Okay, now we got some more money. This feels so important to choose the correct, uh, to choose the right upgrades. I want to be able to hire spearmen. I really do. I don't even know if they're better than the militia. I, don't, I have no idea but now I'm gonna try to hopefully this is such a big risk but I will try leaving my troops right there and hopefully they will be able to repel the next attack and I will be running and try to take one of their bases from them and that's gonna take such a long time. This is basically just a make or break situation right now because if they take B, a lot of my income is gone, but either way, it seems like they're never going to take... They're never going to attack A. So I will always have A to fall back on. And I really want to be even quicker with claiming bases. I should have done this the first time. Why didn't I go straight for B? I mean, this is the difficult thing with playing completely new maps because you have all these kind of tricks and uh, tips that you uh, gain just from experience are so important. And now as soon as I take this one, they're gonna come storming out of the gates in order to take it from me. I hope. So they won't be coming for going for my B. Okay, more money. And they're coming to take it. And that's cool. Because at least that means that they won't be. Uh... I need flag capture speed. Did I really need flag capture speed on my standard carrier? Yeah. Sorry guys, this was uh, that was a really bad choice on my part. Really bad choice. <clears throat> and hopefully now they'll be running back to Pompeii, and I will keep them busy with capturing uh, capturing and recapturing these places so I will just be getting money from <coughs> from my A and B base but I've all, uh, almost half the game has already surpassed it's already passed so I will need to be quick about it And I mean, can I? I won't be able to run around and capture this one. I'll need to go straight in through the front door, basically. And that's not good. And here they come. As soon as they come, I'm just gonna jump the gate basically, jump the fence and, uh, and run, out, run out of here. Up. Okay, did I survive? Yeah, I survived. Whoop. They are so fast. Okay, I do not see a possibility for me 
to make it out of here alive. They will not be opening my, the gate for me. Yeah, that was that was probably the best choice. The best that was gonna happen. Okay, so now back again. I need to make a bigger army. I really do. But they didn't take my D base. They did not. So I'm back, everyone. I'm gonna have some defenders. And I want to buy them as much time as I possibly can to just pummel them down with pilas. Look at that, they're super effective. Yeah, you better run! Pa! Just got the standard carrier. And got him again. Got him again, you will not be resurrecting your standard carrier. Okay, this is good. Now I have three bases for money. And that's good, of course, but this might mean that they will attack my B base. Or they might attack this one again, but I feel like this one should be pretty secure. Yeah, and all the defenders are coming to the front. Yeah, I hire another defender right here. And he goes to the front as well. Okay, so this one feels pretty secure right now. And that's good. Oh, they... Who died inside there? Did I just send my flag? My standard carrier or something? Okay, now horsing around. I'm gonna see if this is even possible. It doesn't seem like it is though. I just fell. And I'm most likely got okay, it's probably gonna go a lot faster. Just there are no enemies. Bah. Hopefully I'm gonna respawn from this base because that's the closest one. Please respawn me at B base. Please respawn me at B base. Please, please, please. Yes! I love it when it works with just saying please. Oh wow, did I really... Did my entire army seriously just collapse? Wow. That's weird. Oh yeah, I think I know why. My army just ran straight into their base. I guess. So yeah, I know why that happened. <laughs> Let's just see if I can break down their gate. Oh wow, their gate is super strong. But at least I'm going to destroy it a little bit. Okay guys, we really need to recover. We need really need to retreat right now. And um look at that. I'm having more spears in my head than I have helmets. This is insane. I have so many spears right up in my helmet. Okay, we're gonna need some pilas. And this was not good because I used all of my troop money to buy that upgrade. Which means I'll be toast if they will be coming back here. And I only have two defenders on this base as well. So I will need to get some more. Okay, but at least now I'm starting to come back point-wise. Okay, they have a lot of defenders.
Okay, guys, follow me. <clears throat> okay, I don't think I have enough time now to recover fully. So, but it's good that I have, I do have the majority of the bases. And that's good, of course. Whoa, this was not what I meant to do. Yeah, you're not the only one who can throw spears. There we go. I don't know why my defender keeps um, keeps like running straight into the fold. I really need to bring down the standard carrier. Okay, so we managed to repel one of their attacks. That's good. Look at all the dead. I need legionnaires. That's what I need. I need legionnaires. And those are 250. If only I, have ta I had taken the upgrade, that would give me... That would give me more... Uh, more gold instead of uh, faster capturing time of the flags. Oh no, what? Did they try to take D right there? But it looked like they failed, right? Oh, okay, now we got legionnaires. Now I will be able to recruit the, the best troops that Rome's got. Form to Studo, guys. to take down that standard carrier of course and why am I missing every throw right now okay that's good that's good we were able to defend it but we have so few troops right now we have so few troops And I will need to take their E base as well, but I do not see them defending against another wave right now. But okay, I'll try. I'll give it a shot. Make or break. <clears throat> I would really like for my guy to be a bit faster. I have one, two. Now I have, I think, one or zero defenders at my base. At a, my A base. But they're attacking D. And I do not want them to. If they take that back, that will be really bad for me. But it looks like they are actually pushing them back. They're actually pushing them back. Oof, this is nerve wracking. They killed so many of my defenders at my D base. But look at the balls on that one. He's actually charging into attack. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna go with a couple more defenders. Right there, and then I'm gonna try to go and take their E base. Oh, look at that, are they coming for me? No, they aren't, they aren't. They're coming for my B base. They're coming for my B base. And I really hope that my guys will be able to hold them back on their own. I wouldn't count on it though. But so far I'm trying to go with the same tactics that I did on the last map. Basically find positions where I can just soak up 
a lot of their damage. And in this case, I guess that is my D and B. Because I want them to only attack from one point, basically. And so far, they are able to attack my bases on several points because they attack from both directions. Which of course I guess is not the easiest for them as well. We need to we need to acknowledge that guys that it's not easy for them either. It's really not. But I'll make sure that my troops have better defense when they are close to the flag. It works in a big radius of friendly flag. So Basically, D and B, as long as they are around the flag, they will have um, they will have quite a defensive bonus. Yeah. What? Oh wow. Yeah, how are you gonna do it without your leader, guys? Oh wow. Come on. Yeah, I got him. I got him. You shouldn't be charging after me. I just killed your leader. Or did I? Man, that guy's. That helmet is overpowered to say the least. Jesus. Oh no, please don't tell me that my troops just came charging at them again. It really seems like they did though. It really seems like they did. So now I will have to basically jump down and die. But now I'll be respawning from here. And I will be coming with a bunch of legionnaires. And I'll try to go for a second attack. Because hopefully my guys did quite the job. Oh wow. They got me straight in the head. And the gate is going down. Okay, so please keep attacking right there. I will be coming back with more troops. It's really good that we got the gate down at least. But I'll also need a lot more money. So I'm gonna go with one of the standard uh, upgrades to get more money. Now I got more legionnaires as well, so we're gonna keep running back once more into the breach. I don't actually think that we... Oh, they have so many defenders. Okay, guys, wait right there. I do not even reach them. Oh, wow, no, I don't wanna die yet. I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, so our army is back. Up to full force. I have two defenders here. That means that I most likely have eight at uh, my other base, my D base. And I mean, I don't think really there's any use in just wasting uh, my soldiers' lives. I'm gonna see if that ball will even reach him. No, it did not. So how am I gonna break this one, guys?
I mean, I can't just keep charging straight into them over and over and over again. That would just cost me a lot of money. But if I'm running back, will they be coming after me? And then, I mean, they do have a lot of income. They have 180, I have 180. So I really need to be able to um, take their bases because at right this moment they have the same. They generate as much uh, gold per minute or points as I do. And now B is under attack. And it's such a long way to run. Come on, guys. I know you can do it. There we go. Blowing the horn. It's time to put the herd on these guys. There we go. They are coming again. This time, I guess, when I push them back. Oh, they are starting to come with Legionnaires as well. This time when I push them back, I'm a, I actually think I might want to go for a charge. And I will have one more upgrade that focuses on gold per minute because I will always be uh, kind of at a disadvantage right there. Effective. Gotcha. Okay, now I'll be running back. Recruiting more troops. Sig and sag, sig and sag, sig and sag. As soon as I'm back, I'll be recruiting more troops and then I'll just turn them all around to come back with another charge. Good, because the defenders are running around all over the place. I would really want for this gate to be down. So as soon as my troops are in, we'll be unleashing a volley right into their faces. And now I'm dead. Which means I'll go back to base, recruiting even more troops as soon as I can. And then we'll run once more onto the breach. We'll run straight at them again because now the gate is down. So they won't have any defense for it, so now I will be the one with the pushing, and uh, I think that's good. Hopefully, these shields will hold at least a little bit. Doesn't seem like they are though. God. My guys are getting absolutely pummeled right now. Let's see if any of them actually survives out of there. Wow, one guy. Oh. 
Oh, it's so difficult to attack right now. Their defenders are so insanely outnumbering us. But I would, I guess I want them to attack my D base. Because then I would most likely have them. So I want them to guard right there. to go to try to take their e-base again because I need to rack up. Oh my god, I'm actually gonna lose this one. It's only a couple of minutes left of the game. And I think what cost me the most time is not going straight for uh, straight for their b-base. Because they have so many defenders. I mean, it's impossible for me to capture this one with that amount of defenders. I think it was a really good idea also that I got. I think I was really fortunate with how I was ma how I managed to capture D. doesn't seem like they had that much going for them uh, attacking this one. One minute left. It does seem like my guys are getting absolutely pummeled over at the other side. But I'll recruit as many as I can and I will try to hit them from this side instead. gate like yesterday so we did manage to breach the walls but unfortunately it was too late guys it was a defeat 40 minutes into the game purple had us on the ropes the entire game basically but at the end, I felt like I was starting to get a hang of it. I need to use um, the fact that I have my troops over at the other side during uh, on, on B base with a whole ground. And that I'm running around to my D base and uh, asking my, telling my troops to follow me. They're gonna attack from the southern side. Or the, I guess this was the so yeah, southern side. Or east side, I guess. And then... I'll simultaneously recruit troops from um, the base on the other side and then I will attack from that breach when um, while my troops are dying on the other side basically but if you look at how many uh, standard signs they had they outnumbered me a lot they had almost two and a half thousand more gold than I did they did a lot more hires I got more kills though so at least that's good. They did a lot more healing. Oh my god, the healing. I need to heal my troops more. This is insane. But yeah, they had all the team upgrades basically. Only four levels on their standard carrier though. A lot of gold per minute right there. A lot of gold per minute. 
So you mean, I mean, you learn a lot. It was still, this was still a really fun game. 40 minutes of pure suspense, but it was so frustrating. Need to run and all around the map, all over and get all over again. I really tried to use the um, the suicide options of my guys or of my character. But I still hope you enjoyed it. If you have any tips or tricks, please sign them down in the comments below. And have a great day.